Welcome back to Matt the Groundhopper channel and it's Saturday, it's a very cold day today, it's about 0 degrees and we've got another game uh, on my journey of completing my 160 grounds. So the channel's been going now for about 14 months and when I sort of set out to do the channel I, I wanted to be honest with every club and ground and town that I visit. I don't have any sort of, um, sort of preemptive thoughts about where I'm going to go. I just have an honest opinion whether I like it or I don't like it, and then people agree or disagree with me in the comments. And that that sort of rung true when I went up to last season. Last season I went to Middlesbrough. I uh, went there for the sort of half a day, watched Middlesbrough Blackpool. And when I went to Middlesbrough, got the train to Middlesbrough, and then from Middlesbrough's train station you walk sort of through university campus and then down to the riverside and, and that's where the ground is. And I remember saying at the time how much I loved that part of Middlesbrough. I think it's really, really nice. It's um, very modern and the grounds have been really in a really nice location. And the comments I was getting was people were just very grateful that I was speaking positively about the town of Middlesbrough, which I found quite surprising. But it was just my honest opinion and I, and I, and I really did like it. Um, but fans were saying that, because I, I said it was a great atmosphere at, at the Riverside ground, and the fans were saying that you need to get yourself to an away game and experience the away fans and how the Middlesbrough fans react at an away ground. And I did say that I would do that, and today I'm a man of my word, and today I'm going to fulfil that promise that I promised fans <laughs> in the comments one month ago. And today I'm going to be sitting with the Middlesbrough fans at Millwall, so I'm off to the new den. Uh, it's another new ground I haven't been to for this channel, which will be ground 52. So on the screen now are all the grounds I've already completed on my list of 160. If you're new to this channel, it's basically all around the UK, England, Scotland, Wales and the National League clubs. So they're the grounds I've been to. Uh, the new den is a new ground for me, so ground 52. I've been here about 20 years ago for the Gilles. I'm a Gillingham fan and I was... Um, at the away end with Jules fans but I'm going to be at the away end again today uh, with the Mill fans and sorry with the Middlesbrough fans sorry um, very much looking forward to this game and I want to see what the old Borough fans are like away from home so a bit of a long journey for them today yes yeah, so I'm just going to go and jump on the train and I will see you in South London and just like that I'm in South London I've just got the train at South Bermondsey and basically what happens when you get off the train it separates home fans to away fans so I'm just walking down this very long pathway now, down to the away end. Um, completely segregated, you don't even mix with the home fans at all. Um, so there we go, here's the ground. There we go. So I'm going to have a little wander outside. Um, see what's going on, have a quick look around the ground. As I say, I don't think you can actually wander around the ground actually, but so you just chaperone straight in. So yeah, so very sort of um, security conscious around here, but yeah, I'm outside the ground now, the den, Ooh. So I'm in the ground. I need to make a correction. I did call it the new den, but it's apparently it's been renamed, it's just been called the den now. Because um, it's ground's been for 30 years, built in 93, capacity just over 20,000. Um, I don't think it's changed much, to be fair, in them 30 years. I mean, if you're a Mill fan watching this, let me know. Is there any plans to enlarge the ground? Maybe fill the corners in or stick another tier on these stands? But yeah, it's. I think I've read it's the first all purpose built all-seater stadium after the Taylor report so, so that's their claim to fame but yes it's, it's, it's very it's, it's tidy it's a neat tidy stadium so say four stands four open corners what's the plans is it going to stay like this or is, it, is there improvements in the pipeline but yeah a bit early got about another hour before kickoff yet so I'm just having a little mill around got a bit of food but yeah there we go 
the den. Nil to Millwall, well taken goal from Fair, but um, yeah, the atmosphere is really good. Like home and away, fair play to both clubs. It's so noisy here. Probably only about 15,000 here, but it's really, really noisy. It's reverber reverberating around the ground, but yeah, the massive roar's gone up for Mill, and it's 1 0 to Millwall. Here. It's 1-1. One, one. managed to catch both goals on camera, which is pretty handy. But uh, just cut things on the notes. There's quite a lot of police here. And uh, obviously, Millwall in the past have had a you know, sort of reputation of being you know, a bit of a rough club, but you know, there's been no issues or problems whatsoever. Both sets of fans are completely segregated. Um, there's two different ways of coming. You've got an away entrance and home entrance, like different pathways leading to the ground. But yeah, there's been no, no whiff of any problems at all, really. But, um, yeah, so it's quite a safe environment. Um, atmosphere is really good, spot on, very noisy. So I wasn't expecting it to be as noisy as it's been, but it's very noisy. Um, yeah, so that makes for um, his second half. Um, I heard a few people say to me, what's happened to Coca Mars? Well, I can announce Coca Mars is back <laughs> today for this video. I didn't realise it affected everyone's life so much. But Coca Mars is back, and it is quite expensive here. It's going to be right up there. Um, the lead table, second half in a few minutes. Minutes of the second half, and um, yeah, look at the crowd. Look, 
turn this around and yeah the, the atmosphere has been spot on I mean it feels like a very very hostile atmosphere here for the home fans but yeah middle fans definitely really making a lot of noise now but yes it's now one two is Middlesbrough now, I mean, since it's been 2-1 to Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough fans have quieted down a bit, but before then it was so noisy from the home fans, like, almost like very hostile, um, like a bit of a tinderbox really, and, you know, the um, home fans very reactive on every tackle, um, so credit to Mill, to be fair, but I said they have been silenced in the last 20 minutes, um, yeah, so it's been a great game though, it's quite over for Chapshire football. As I say, I mean, crowd-wise, it's probably about 15,000 if I'm taking the guess, but, you know, the noise feels like more like 40,000, if I'm being honest. Just the way the sound it reverberates around the stadium. But, um, yeah, so, impressed. Um, yeah, and it's um, still 1-2. same car park again uh, as the one I've done my intro video early on today so I've done full circle uh, a couple of things to mention um, took an hour from when the game finished to getting on the train at South Bermondsey so they got sort of crowd control outside the den it was just queuing forever like and they just basically stopped anyone from getting onto the train station so yeah everyone's queuing in the cold <laughs> to wait for the trains to come to clear the platform and then the next lot of people can go on the platform but yeah so that was a bit disappointing but it's no one's fault it's just the amount of people at a very small train station um on to the game great game honestly um i've watched middlesbrough home and away now and both times i've seen them win so it must be a lucky omen for them first time i said mill for the channel uh, so good luck for middlesbrough for the rest of the season and good luck in your second leg um in the league cup you could end up Going to Wembley, the fans were singing we're going to Wembley at that game, so good luck for that. Uh, just a bit about the ground, so everyone mentions about Mills and oh, you know, it's a it's a rough place to go, but you know what? It was absolutely fine, it was well managed crowd wise, good crowd management. Didn't see one problem at all. Very volatile crowd at home for Mill. Crowd uh yeah, they sort of they react to every every challenge and every decision they're proper <laughs> in the face of the players and the and the um referee but it's a good atmosphere i really enjoyed the game um as i say i think it was about sixteen thousand now i read and the, you know it was a, you know it's very noisy for the sixteen thousand fans so uh, sort of thumbs up really for the home anyway fans uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button like and comment thanks for watching it's been absolutely freezing today uh, it's been proper cold it's been one of my coldest videos i've done for the channel uh, really appreciate everyone sort of subscribing and watching and saying um, hit the thumbs up as well and I will see you at my next video which will probably be next week somewhere else in the UK. Thanks again and bye for now.